today I feel like sewing and I was trying to think of a project that I can do for sewing and it just so happened that I needed some new heating pads. It's been a couple years since I've made some so I thought you know what I am going to make a video today on how to how I make my rice heating pads. These things are awesome. We use them in this household quite a bit. Um, my daughter uses them for her soccer injury. She doesn't only use them for heat, but we also use them as cooling pads by just placing them in the freezer overnight. And they work well for cooling her knees or her ankles after she's had a hard game. So anyhow, I thought, what a great project to show you. I love these. I gift them often. And a couple Christmases ago, um, I think it was probably like two or three Christmases ago, I made everybody in my family a set of three and they were a really big hit and so why don't I show you how I do it and maybe you'll like this idea and you'll make yourself some and maybe this Christmas you'll get tenacious and you'll make everybody in your family a set of three to you know give a DIY homemade gift to your family at Christmas time. So let me show you what I do. Like I said I make a set of three and I like to make them in I do a small one that can be used for your throat or just wherever. I do a medium size one and the medium size one is not done because this is the size I'm gonna show you how to do today. And the large. And the large is good for your back, your shoulders, your stomach, whatever. And so um, they're all made the same way. I like to do them in coordinating fabrics just to kinda add a little fun to them and make them cuter. And so, yeah, so let me get started showing you what all you need for this. Okay, so first, like I said, you need coordinating fabrics or you can do all three heating pads in the same fabric. But if you decide to do coordinating fabrics, I suggest going to Joann's. Joann's always has their fat quarters, 99 cents. And you really can't beat that because for 99 cents, you get one full fat quarter, which will make one fat quarter will make the largest one and it will also make two of the medium ones. Well, let me back up. One big fat quarter, one fat quarter makes one big heating pad cover for this. And so I get three of them and in coordinating colors and the second one for the medium size, you can get two medium size heating pads out of one fat quarter and you can get four to six of the smaller size heating pads out of one fat quarter. And so I think that for three bucks, you can't be, what you also need, and it's just something that I prefer to do, I go and get the wrap and zap batting. And um, this is what I use to initially put my rice in. And it is a batting, it's 100% natural, and it's the wrap and zap that's good for the microwave. I have done it with both the wrap and zap and regular batting, and nothing bad has happened with the regular batting, but, um, and I only did it because I didn't have any of the wrap and zap and I wanted to see if it would work with it. The only odd thing that happened was there was a bit of a musky odor to the heating pad after heating it. And I think the other batting that I have that is by Pellon um, has like the seeds in it. And um, I think that might have been what caused it to smell. And I think that this is just a better one for moisture and steam that doesn't let off an odor. So try the wrap and zap. I think it's $2.99 a bag. And if you use your Joann's coupon, you can get 50% off or 40% off of this. So you're really only spending, you know, $1.50 to $2 for this. Um, you need rice. Another thing that I do is I like to go to Sam's Club. I get their 50 pound store brand bag of rice. And for 50 pounds at Sam's Club, you can spend, it, I think I can get, I get it for 10 or $11. You go to Walmart or Albertsons and you can get a three pound bag for $10. So to me, I like to go and get the 50 pound bag because I can make about 30 or 40 heating pads out of that 50 pound bag. So it's kind of worth the $10 investment in the long run if you plan on making more than just the three that you're making. If not, you know, go to Walmart and get the three pound bag. 
Um, I also like to get um, fragrance oils. Um, today I'm going to be using fragrance oils. If you don't have fra fragrance oils, another awesome thing to do to add to the rice just to give it a good smell is to cut open a hot tea bag and put all the flaky dry herbs in with the rice. And I like to do chamomile quite a bit with my heating pads, but today I was thinking of my mom, so I decided that I was gonna do the angel wings one, and this one smells fantastic. I get these at Albertsons for $1.99 a bottle, so, and it goes quite a bit of ways with it. And what else do you need? I think I said the batting, oh, the last thing that you need is I also, Walmart um, has their white, flannel just their plain white flannel material um for a dollar a yard and this is also what else what you'll need as well and this is what i cover the batting with after i fill the rice with and then i close this up and then the the patterned fabric is just a slip cover that actually comes on and off of the heating pad so you can wash it if you want um, so that's what you need and let's see i guess let's get started let me show you how to put these together i'll give you the sizes and measurements of all three heating pads in the description box below when i'm done but for now i'll just give you the measurements of the medium heating pad and what we need to do this to do yeah what we need to do this heating pad itself so first and foremost, let's pull out the sewing machine and our scissors and let's get started. Today I'm just going to use a regular white um, thread because it's going to coordinate just fine with it. And what you want to do is you want to take your batting, your rapid batting. And what I did was I cut it at the fold. So that way I only have to sew two sides of it. And this batting, I wrote it down, is cut at eight and a quarter by 10 inches. So this is eight and a quarter by 10 inches on the fold. So it's actually two. And just go ahead and sew down each side of it and make sure that you do go forward and backwards at the ends because you don't want it coming unraveled and your rice leaking out. So you want it to be as sturdy and closed up as you can get it. So let me go ahead and sew down the edges here and okay, so we've sewn down each side, which now gives us a pocket. I'm going to turn it inside out so the sewn edges are on the inside and that also helps to make the bag smaller so it fits into the next slip cover that we're going to put on. So there we go. There we have it and now what we're going to do is we're going to fill it with rice. So I previously went ahead and put my fragrance oil in the rice and mixed it up real well. And you don't need a lot. I would say maybe four or five drops is enough. And it goes pretty far and it's very concentrated. So let's go ahead and fill this up. You're not gonna fill it up all the way. I would say halfway maybe. Okay, so a good way to measure is, okay, it is all at the bottom right now, is just to kind of lay it out and kind of push it around to see how it's going to lay in the bag and how heavy you want it. So I think we have enough in here right now. And so now we are going to close up the top. And we're just going to take the top edge. We're going to set our rice right here. And we are going to just make a stitch going straight across the top there. Okay. So there we have it. We've sewn across the top. I'm gonna cut my extra string off. And I'm also gonna cut the extra batting off. And I'm gonna leave about a quarter inch of batting above the seam line. Just to make it neat. So there we have the inside sack of our heating pad. 
so now we are going to do the cover that covers the batting. And this one, I guess we'll call this the liner. Um, and this one measures eight and a half by ten and a half. And I also, on this one, did it on a seam as well. So you're having two of it. And just folding it so you're only having to sew on two edges on the sides. Alrighty, so we have sewn up the sides of the liner and we've got our pocket. So I'm gonna turn this inside out or right side in, I guess now. And now I am going to put the batting with the rice inside this liner. All right, so we've got the rice in there with the batting. And now we are going to close up this end with, close the liner end. And what I like to do with this one is just to make it a little bit tidier and neater. I kind of just take it and fold it down and in about a quarter of an inch. So it gives us a nice clean line that we're sewing. And there we have it sewn up and sealed. So far there's our heating pad. And now all that's left to do is just the slip cover that we can take on and off to wash as needed. So what I did with this one, this one measures nine and a half by ten and three quarters long if it's folded in half on if you're folding it on a fold. So it's yeah nine and a half by ten and three quarters what I did ahead of time when I'm ironing this is I go ahead and do um, fold it in and get my fold real nice and pretty so I can seam it because this is going to be the top and you don't want the top to be all frayed and ugly. So I'm going to go ahead and sew that in before we close up our bag. Okay, so we've got our pretty edge done. It's all sewn in. So now all that's left to do is just to stitch up the side and the bottom. So we're going to fold it in half with the pretty print on the inside. And we are going to sew up one side and across the bottom. Alrighty, so we have sewn up the one side here and down the across the bottom and then just go ahead and turn it right side in. So your print is now on the outside. And there is our slip cover that we can now just put the heating pad in. I love these and I love to give these away so much. Call me corny, but I love it. And look it, there you have it. There's your heating pad. Fully done, your medium sized heating pad. It's pretty simple, huh? An hour and a half with cutting and sewing and prepping and you're done. And now you have, now we have ourselves an adorable set of the Shabby Chic Paris heating pads. And there we have them, all three of them. Isn't that just the cutest set? And then you tie it maybe with some black ribbon and gift that to somebody. And I'm telling you, they are going to love it. I have a really good friend of mine who has uh, had back surgery and I gave her this as a gift for Christmas. And she tells me it is a godsend. So this is the large, this is the medium, and this is your small heating pad for your set of three. Love these. Now all that's left for me to do is what I like to do is I like to print out some of my little tags, my KB creation tags, and I'll put, a, I'll iron on a little KB creation tag on each corner saying that it was made from the heart of Kelly Barlow Creations. 
Hope you guys liked this video. Hope I didn't take up too much of your time. Give me a thumbs up, please, if you liked my heating pad video. And let me tell you, this room smells fantastic, like the angel wings. I love that scent. And go and make yourself some heating pads today, tomorrow, whenever. Just go and get your stuff and make them and let me know how they turned out. Send me a picture of them in the comments below. Attach it because I'd love to see them. I want to see somebody's creations of some of my videos. I know you guys are doing it, so take a picture real quick and let me see how you're doing. Anyhow, give me a thumbs up please if you like this video and please subscribe to my channel and remember for every hundred subscribers there will be a giveaway and I think that the next giveaway is going to be a set of my heating pads. That is going to be the very first giveaway because I am 11 subscribers away from 100 subscribers. I'm going to keep doing this until I get as many as I need and you know what? There will be lots of giveaways. So subscribe, 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 please. And take it easy. Have a great summer day. And happy crafting on a budget or happy sewing today. Bye for now.